Welcome to the Oasis Loss Modeling Framework User Interface Demonstration Video. Okay, so let's just go ahead and log in to the user interface. And here we have the Oasis UI homepage. Any previously run analyses that you wish to go back and revisit would be listed here, but we have nothing yet. Um, just go through a few nodes for you. This is your manual refresh button. These three dots here collapse the left hand pane if you need more room. And anytime you press the home button, it will bring you back to this screen. So for this demonstration, let's start by creating a simple portfolio. If we go to analysis on the side here, single analysis, I'm just going to close that for more room. And the first step is to create our portfolio. So we'll just name this what we like. And here we have it ready to have data imported. So if I then browse to my location file, it's just a CSV file. This is a subset um, of a portfolio with 100 locations based in the Dominican Republic for earthquake modeling. As you can see, because it's quite small, it's uploaded pretty quickly here. The, the larger the file, the longer it will take to upload. Um, it's worth noting that the location file is the only compulsory file required to run a model, and this will only then calculate your ground up losses. You will then need the associated account file with the policy information if you want to generate your gross or insured losses. And if you have any reinsurance structure that you wish to apply, you will need your info and file scope files here to, um, to run those. But for this example, we're just going to keep it simple and keep it to the location file. And then we go to proceed to choose analysis. Now if we create analysis, now here are the models available to you on your environment. So we only have two test models here. So I'm going to choose the bottom one, which is the GEM global earthquake model and just name the analysis, whatever we like, hit submit. And you'll now see that the analysis has been created next to the model that you've chosen. And the status shows that it started to generate the inputs. Now it's only small, so it shouldn't take long. So if we manually refresh there, you'll see it now says ready. So before we actually go to configure our output and run a model, we can actually now look at our exposures in the front end. So if we scroll down on the validation summary tab, we can see that 100% of our locations and associated TIV have successfully imported. We don't have any fails or no matches. If we now go to the validation map tab, we can start to see our exposures on a map. So if I just zoom out, you can see we're in the Dominican Republic. Zoom back in and you can see that our 100 exposures are located at these four points. If I click on here, we've got numerous risks at the one location. If I click on one, it will give you your information of that pin. So we have the location ID, which gives the user the ability to then go back and tie it to their exposure information, associated TIV, and any street or postal address information in the portfolio will be present here. This subset I'm using is only working off of um, lat longs, and we don't have any associated address information, which is why it's come up with NA. So the final tab on this page is the inputs tab. And in the interest of transparency, this now gives the user the option to go and look at the files behind the inputs and the model. So we've got the usual CSVs of account coverages, locations. Um, but if we want to look at something a bit more technical, we can look at the JSON files here. And if we go to content, it will then give you your JSON file of the information behind the model and all of the required column headers and information. You can also then export that as well if you want to. Okay, so the next step is to configure our output and run the model. But before we run the model, we have to choose our outputs and what reports we want to see after we've run the model. So we can go to the advanced tab here, and this will give us the number of samples we want to run and the loss threshold. Um, you can choose up to hundreds of thousands of samples, but for this demonstration, we'll keep it simple at the default 10. And here is where the user now can really start to generate quite a detailed suite of model reports. So we choose our parameter here and the financial perspective. So we have ground up, 
insured or reinsurance. And if we expand this, we can now see what reports we've selected. So summary, which is all risks for the whole portfolio and our output reports of AAL, AEP and OEP. If we then select insured loss, we will see those same reports, but from the different financial perspective. OK, so let's choose drill down. So what this does, this now gives us the opportunity to really go into more detail and create more detailed reports. So if we go to summary level, we can now choose what we want to see our model output split by. So let's choose construction code for now. And we can now see that for ground up loss, which is the perspective we've got selected, we can see our three reports here by the whole portfolio and also the construction code. We can add to this if we want to and choose occupancy as well. So we will now have these reports by construction and occupancy on the same plot. But what if we want to create separate plots? So we can drill down even further and make them more customizable. So if we go into custom here, we have the same financial perspectives and the same summary levels as we had previously. So let's choose construction code. But we now have the option of more available reports to us. So we can run full sample, PLT, AALs, ELT, and also an OEP curve. So you can see now we have all of these reports are going to be generated for construction code. And if you want to add more, we can just go to plus and let's choose occupancy again, occupancy code. And we just want to have a PLT and an OEP report for that. So you can now see that we're going to have quite a large list of reports for our outputs. And again, we can add another one, and do it by country code. And again, choose the different reports we want. So you can start to build up quite a large collection of reports. So for this example, let's just clear all of these and keep it simple. Go to summary level, construction code. And now let's execute the model. So run. Because the portfolio is quite small, if we manually refresh, it should say run completed, hasn't taken long. At this point, if you realise you haven't selected an output that you actually want or you've made a mistake, you can go back to rerun. Again, choose whatever reports you want to choose and then execute run and that will override your previous run. But we're happy with what we've done. So we want to start looking at our outputs. So proceed to dashboard. And here is our basic model output summary dashboard. We have our AEP OEP curves and our AAL plots and our exposure information. All of these can be exported and then edited in reports if you want to. Or we can go to the plots tab and start creating our own customizable plots. So if we go to new plot, choose our perspective, we want to see an OEP curve, we can name it accordingly and we can see it by the outputs that we chose previously. So let's look at construction code, draw plot. So now what we have here is an OEP curve for each of the individual construction codes. And if we change that to all risks, draw the plot again, we have the OEP curve for the whole portfolio because it's all risks. Now, you can also choose your AAL plot. Here we have an AAL plot for all risks. But if you want to look at more detail, you can again look at it by construction code. And this shows the AAL by your individual construction codes. There is an option here to also see your losses on a map. Now, as you can see, I've selected it, but it's come up with invalid file. And the reason for that is that to see your losses by location on a map, you have to turn on the location level output. Now, because for this example, we only have 100 locations in our portfolio, it won't take too long and um, it should be quite easy to run location level output. But it's worth bearing in mind that if your portfolio is tens or hundreds of thousands of locations, running location level output can take quite a lot of time and also create quite a large result set. So it's worth just bearing that in mind. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back to configuration output and go to the rerun tab, clear all of these options and we're going to again create it based on construction code but also we're going to add lock number in there to turn on our location level output and hit execute run okay so because it's quite small this shouldn't take too long to run so if we manually refresh it you can see it says run completed okay so if we then proceed to dashboard like we did previously we should now be able to see 
our losses on the map. Here is the slider for the range of losses, OEP. I'm going to go to Draw Plot. And now we can see our losses on a map. So if we click on the same location with this scale from blue to red, we can start seeing individual losses per location. So location ID is st still there, so you're able to tie that back to your exposure information and the associated loss. Now the final tab on this page is the Files tab. So here is where you can export all of your model outputs into a CSV and start using um, the information in external reports or for your underwriting decisions. So if we just choose one here, this is our OEP curve. If we go to View, Content, we can then see our OEP curve information there and our losses. And if we go to Export, we can then open that up as a CSV, like so. We're nearly at the end of this demonstration. There are just a few other things that I'd like to show you. This node up here, this gives you the list of all of the previous runs that you've done if you want to go back and revisit them. Again, we've only just run one, so there's only one in this list. If we go back to the home page, again, this gives you all of your dashboard information. And if you go to Single Analysis Dashboard, you'll be able to see all of your outputs based on the analysis you've just done. Thanks for joining us for this Oasis UI demo. If you have any questions or want to get in contact, you can do so at our website, or you can have a look at all of the technical specifications and documentation on our GitHub repository. Thank you.